Hey guys and girls, before watching this tutorial, please do check out my Udemy course on designing and coding a responsive website using HTML5 and CSS3. This is a great little project to work on for beginners and also for the pros. I have provided you with a link in the description with a great discount as you see here. Okay, thank you. Well, hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fly-in text animation and let me first show you what I mean by it. So let me refresh the page and have a look at it, um, at these letters. So I'm refreshing it and as you can see we have a nice welcome effect on our web page and this, this could be very useful if you want the, if you want to have some kind of animation once the users enter your page and this is very simple to make and gives a really nice effect so now that you've seen it let's head to our code editor I'm starting with a blank HTML document as usual and let's start with our HTML itself so I'm going to place an ordered list and give it a class first class will be fly in and flying text sorry and also we'll have a class of hidden and we're going to toggle this class to make that animation and here we will have a list items and of each of these list items will have a letter from the text so we had a text of welcome so first one is W then we will have an E and we we'll have seven letters in total so this one was second third fourth fifth six seven welcome save it we can have a look at it in our browser fresh the pages yes, this is the HTML for it. Let's head now to our CSS because that is it for the HTML. As always, I'm to, going to make a basic reset, set our margins and paddings to zero. I'm going to also target body. As you saw, we had a background color and we had a black background color. Then let's target our flying text fly in text for it well, first of all let's uh, get rid of those bullet points so list style will be equal to none then we're going to set the position to absolute and now we're going to vertically and horizontally center align the text and I'm not going to explain it in details but if you want to know how it's done then you can head to my previous video and or tutorial and have a look at it so left and top position to 50% and transform it translate it on the X axis as well as on the Y axis of minus 50% and I'm not going to use the browser prefixes but if you're using it for some kind of real project then please do include those prefixes next in let's target our allies so fly in text allies for them first of all let's display them as an inline block elements so they are aligned next to each other you can have a look at it whoops we don't see them let's set the font color to white FFF yes as you can see our text is center aligned on our web page and the letters are next to each other next one is let's set a margin right to 50 pixels to give it some breathing room also going to change the font family to open sans Arial as a fallback then I'm going to give it a font weight to make them looking a bit sleeker also increase the font size going to increase it to 4 M's save it have a look at it in our browser yes, as you can see these are our letters here with a nice font and spacing in between them and next thing is let's just copy this rule paste it here 
and let's target the last child or the last oops the type or, or the last element or last li in our list and we're going to set the margin right to zero because it's the last element and we don't need the breeding room right here yes looking better now we're going to target our li's if the ul has a class of hidden so let's again we can just highlight and copy and paste this rule and we're going to place a class of hidden hidden yes and let's set the opacity to zero because by default uh, they won't be visible for our users refresh them as you can see they're not visible anymore so here we need to set the opacity to zero so once we remove the class they fade in nice so also for that we need transitions uh, to see those animations and we're going to target all properties animations will happen over 2.5 seconds and the function will be ease next thing is let's target each of those letters so we can again highlight this rule paste them and we're going to use the nth child for these ones and we're going to target the first child uh, first li child which, which is this element right here and and yes we can just write this code on one line and what we're going to do we are just going to move those letters uh, like randomly so we're going to do that by transforming them and again if you are using this uh, in a real project please do include those prefixes for time saving reasons i won't do that so we're going to transform by minus 200 pixels and on the y-axis also minus 200 pixels then let's just highlight and copy this rule and paste it six more times three four five six mm -hmm. so we had seven letters two three four five six and yes sorry one more time seven so next one will be moved by 20 pixels and 100 pixels on the y and this will be moved by minus 100 pixels 150 pixels and minus 80 pixels then the fourth letter 10 pixels this will stay minus 200 pixels then the fifth of minus 300 and 200 and this one to 20 pixels again and minus 20 pixels and the last one will be moved by 30 pixels on the x axis and 200 on the y axis and now that uh, so that you see these letters how they're arranged let's comment out the opacity zero and let's have a look at it yes as you can see our letters are moved in random places and that's the effect we want to achieve so let's turn this back on and it seems that this is it for our css and we can turn to the javascript so here i already have jquery installed and i'm going to place in an anonymous function so function right here and it is going to whoops it's going to be fired once the web page is loaded and let's first of all place a set timeout function and what is it going to do is is going to wait half a second and then it's going to remove that um, hidden class and by that we're going to see the animation happen so 500 uh, milliseconds and that's a half second and obviously you can change these at uh, this time right here and we're going to target our 
fly in text whoops fly in text and what we're going to do is going to remove class and the class for it to remove was here hidden hidden let's save it and go to our browser refresh it and yes as you can see we have our animations looking really great and I think it gives your web page a really nice effect a welcoming effect and obviously you can change all the properties the timing these translate properties so that the letters are arranged in a way that you wanted them to be arranged and so on so but as you as you saw it was that also that simple to make and gives you just a really beautiful effect on your web page so really hope that this helps you in some kind of way and that is going to be it for this tutorial and thank you for watching and hopefully see you in the next videos okay bye